What's up everybody, iVision here, and we're checking out some Farming Simulator 17. It was suggested by guys to play, to play this, so I figured, why not, right? Why not give it a try? Uh, I've never played the Farming Simulator games, I actually take that back. I did play 15, very briefly though, and then I was like, that's enough. But, we'll try 17 out, and because it's been a while, and because I don't really know what I'm doing, I figured we would do the tutorials here. So, I'm going to do these tutorials. I'm going to post these at the end of them. You guys let me know if you guys like it or not. If you do, then we'll go into a, a good old campaign or something or a career. A campaign, career, they're kind of the same thing. And go from there. And we guys can also suggest mods that we can throw in here. And uh, we can do stuff like that as well. So, if you guys like it, that's what we'll do. If not, we'll move on to something different after the tutorials. Let's get in and figure out what we're doing with some aerial farming. We learn the basics. Alright, welcome to the first tutorial where you will learn how to prepare your field and grow crops for a rich harvest. If you forget what to do next or want to exit the tutorial, you can open the tutorial menu at any time. Oh, okay. Um, we know the basic controls for moving around. Do 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 do. Got that. It's a big machine, isn't it? But compared to other vehicles you get to drive, it's still a rather small old tractor. Don't worry, driving this one is easier than you might think. Up in. Alrighty, we're going to. We are in. It's a... Oh, we... Yeah. Yeah. We know the... We know the machine. Forward, backwards, we got that. First things first, slowly back up the cultivator behind... Up to the cultivator behind you and attach it to your tractor. Icon beneath the tractor symbol in the lower right section of the user interface will appear when you are close enough to attach it. Once the cultivator is lifted into driving position, move forward towards the small black weight attached to the front of your tractor. The extra weight will balance out the heavy weight at the back. We've got it. So let's do this. Let's back up. There we go. You can see the icon in the lower right there. You don't see it looking in my lower right where my speedometer area is. You can see we hook, oh hook, and hook. So let's hook it up. Nice. Now let's move up to the weight here and grab that. Uh, did we get it? There it is. Now we've got the weight. So that's good. Great job so far. Now you can prepare the field for sowing before sowing. Since you have two tools attached, you can switch between them in order to manipulate them each. The schematic view of the tractor in the bottom right displays the current active tool. Select the cultivator in the back and lower it into the soil, and then drive up and down the field as straight as you can. Alright, so we need to switch the tools, and then we need to lower it. There we go. Let's go. How do we get inside? That's what I would like to do. Um, we can't see the controls. What's up with that? We'll stop. That was weird. I guess we're not going inside this one. We're just going to drive it in a straight line and see what's up. Look at that. Uh-oh. Oh, I nearly forgot. You can turn on the radio to listen to some music while you work. Enjoy driving from a different perspective. Oh, hey, select camera. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Now we're inside. I don't know why I didn't hit that before. I felt like I hit that button before. Nice, we're inside. Hello. Now, question is... Now, we probably got to raise the tool. Right? Is that, the, is that the proper thing to do? Raise the tool? Now, do we back it up like this? And then do this side? Or do you go around in a... In like a square? You know? Like, what's the proper way for this? But we are doing good. I think. We're maintaining. I, I think we're... You know, we're definitely good enough for that. So that's good. Just gotta stay. It's done. You've got the hang of cultivation. Ready to plant some seeds. 
Cultivating the loosened soil, making it well prepared for sowing. So get on the tractor and attach the tools as you did before. Alrighty. Let's do it. Let's hop in. Um, let's back up. Attach. Go forward. Attach. Uh, sewing machines need to be turned on before they can plant seeds. And again, you'll need to lower it down into the soil. To turn it on, we got to use the key. Okay. So we need to switch. Let's pull forward. Inside. There we go. Um. And let's look behind us. E to turn it on. Okay, now it's on, because I think it's green. Green for on. Then we need to lower it, so V. There we go, let's give it a whirl. See what happens. I'd say it's on because we're losing. See that at the, right there, 694, 93. It looks different. We must have shifted over to the, to the right a little bit there. So like, do we go like this then? Or would we go up and down? That's the question. I feel like they should explain this. Now I think in Farm Expert, they, they explain that, this type of stuff. Like you need to go up and down, or you need to go like this. Not really sure. And good job, the seeds are planted, and now all it takes is time for them to grow into Field of canola, ready to harvest. Uh, of course. Ooh, the big, big kahuna. The big kahuna. Now this is a big machine. Your very own combine harvester. Enter it and attach the header in front of it. It's the same you did with the other equipment. This thing. This thing. Nice. These things got like just loaded. All right, let's get in. Let's pull forward. There we go. Top inside. Holy cow, look at this. What are these toys? Well, TV up there. Well, radio, FM radio back in school here. Alright, I don't even know what that said. Do you guys know what that said? Uh oh. I don't recall what it said. Um. A combine must be unfolded and then you can turn it on. By doing so, the cutter will be lowered automatically. You can also raise and lower it manually if you wish, but keep it low to harvest. Okay. Um, so we gotta unfold. Let's uh, hop outside to see it, right? Can we unfold. Unfold. And then... There it goes. It's on. We're keeping the pipe in. Because we're not going anywhere. And we're harvesting. Nice. Nicely, nicely done. Let's take a look. Oh, we can't look behind us. We should be dropping for... Uh, hmm. Should we honk? Ah, oh, that's so cool. I thought there was a spot for us to turn on and off the, uh, let's turn our machine off once. There we go. Well, maybe not. I thought there was a spot, though, for the, whatchamacallit, for the straw, but I don't see that no more. By harvesting the combine has filled its grain tank, open the pipe. Drive next to the trailer at the edge of the field and unload the grain tank into it. Okay. You got it. Top outside. Whoa. Turn that off. Let's uh, put the pipe out. Don't want to hit that. And automatically fills up with that. Look at that. Oh, nicely done. 
Come on, fill it up. We'll move ahead here so it spreads out the wealth. All right, we're all about spreading out the wealth. Back this way a little bit. Over here some. We almost got it. Great, exit the combine and get on the tractor in front of the trailer. All right, let's put the pipe in. All right, it's not gonna let us. Just, we gotta exit. It said it oh, automatically shut us off, okay. The flashing icon on your map shows where you can unload the trailer, drive over there and store the grain in your silos. In your own time, of course. Okay. Let's do it. We're just going right up the road here. This ought to be fun. So we drive up here, I'm guessing, I'm assuming. Uh-oh, that's not good. Let's back up. Back it up. It's like driving semi here. Oh boy, not good. All right, unload. Oh, go forward maybe. The tipper. Excellent. The grain will keep well in your silos. There is a limited capacity you can store in them. But you'll be able to expand them later in the game. Once you are ready to sell your harvest, you can take the grain out of your silos. Deliver them to one of the various selling stations in the world to make some money. Oh, we got it. After you have harvested, harvested a field, you'll need to prepare it for the next cycle. You can do that quickly by using a cultivator just as before. But from time to time, you should plow your field to make sure that it stays as fertile as possible. So, are we plowing it then, I would imagine? Right then, tractor. Plow, wait, let's go. All right. Ow. Eat. Switch. Camera. Lower. And go. See, we can lift the plow and turn the plow. So, like, what's the uh, what's the difference there? That's what I'm wondering. Uh oh, we're uh, starting to lose. Stay on target. Stay on target. Not good. Okay, so if we were to turn the plow, right? Like, so we probably should have aced it first, though, huh? So let's try this. Then do we, like, back up? Go forward. Oh, this is just nuts. Whoopsies. You do. You got it. We're, we're doing fine. How do we lower it? Because this is the correct way? Because we reverse the plow? Is that what we're supposed to do? Or do we just go and... That's the question. We want to... We don't want to miss any anymore. We want to stay on target with all of this. So let's try and do that. So that means we gotta hang a little bit closer, I think. So we lift, rotate. Like is that is that the correct way? You got you get someone's gotta know. You guys can let me know. I could definitely see this as being a game we live stream or something like that. Something crazy. Alright, let's drop it. I feel it looks good, so I don't see why it wouldn't be. Good work. And with this, you are now prepared to turn your land into a thriving farm. Take it a step further and play the next tutorial to learn about fertilizing your crops properly to increase the yield at harvest time. So that was it, guys. That was arable farming. We did it. The first tutorial is complete. I'm back next time and we will check out fertilizing. Thanks a lot everyone and enjoy your farm.